Hi, welcome to Math Test Prep, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to create and solve real-world equations. This question has four parts. It is an open response question. A student had 30 tickets to use at a carnival. The number of tickets needed to go on some rides and play some games at the carnival is shown in the table. Part A. The student played one game of ball throw and rode the bumper cars one time. She used a total of nine tickets for these two activities. Write an equation that can be used to find T, the number of tickets needed to ride the bumper cars. Please pause, answer the question, and come back and hit play when you're done. All right, welcome back. Let's do it together now. So to write our equation, which is what we're being asked to do in this part of the open response, and we're looking for t, so my equation is going to have a variable t in it, we need to identify that she played one game of ball and rode the bumper cars one time, and our total, we equaled nine tickets. So one game of ball plus one time on the bumper cars equals nine. We're going to our table. One game of ball throw was three tickets. So we're going to do three, and we're going to add to that her bumper cars that she went on one time. So bumper cars is represented by T because we don't know how many tickets the bumper cars were needed for. And that all equals nine because she spent a total of nine tickets. And there's your equation for part A. Here's part B. Part B asks us to solve the equation that you wrote in part A to find and solve for T, the number of tickets needed to ride the bumper cars. Please pause now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we have our equation from part A that we wrote, three plus t equals nine. We wanna solve for t. So we wanna get t isolated all by itself. The inverse of add three is to subtract three. So what I do to one side of the equation, I must do the same to the other. So I'm gonna subtract three from each side of the equation. Three subtract three is zero, leaving me just t on the left, and nine subtract three is six. So therefore, I know since t is six, that it was six tickets that were needed to ride the bumper cars. Part C, the student used a total of 15 tickets for rides on the Ferris wheel. How many times did she ride the Ferris wheel? Write and solve an equation that can be used to find r the number of times the student rode the Ferris wheel. I ask you to pause now and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So in this part, we are asked to not just write, but write and solve the equation to find r, which is the number of times the student actually rode the Ferris wheel. So we're given that she rode the Ferris wheel, and then we need to know that she had five tickets per ride. So every time she went on the Ferris wheel, she needed five tickets. So we know five tickets per ride on the Ferris wheel. And we know that she used 15 tickets to ride the Ferris wheel. So her total tickets used was 15 and five tickets per ride. And we're asked to use R to represent one ride on the Ferris wheel. So five tickets per ride would be represented by five times R. So five times the number of times she went on the ride will equal her total ticket spent riding the Ferris wheel, which was 15. So now we're gonna solve our equation. We're solving for r, it's being multiplied by five. The inverse of multiply by five is to divide by five. What I do to the left side of the equation, I must also do to the right side. So now five divided by five is one, leaving me r on the left, and 15 divided by five is three. So I now know that the student rode the Ferris wheel three times at five tickets per ride and spent a total of 15 tickets on the Ferris wheel. Part D, the student used 24 of her 30 tickets. In order to play one ring toss game and ride the roller coaster one time, she needed to purchase additional tickets to use with the tickets she had left. The student spent $2.60 on the additional tickets she needed. What was the cost in dollars of each additional ticket? I'd like you to pause now and come back when you're done. 
So in this part, we're looking for the cost of each additional ticket. And we're told that she had 30 tickets to begin with and she had used 24 of her tickets. So 30 subtract the 24 she used tells me that she has six tickets remaining to spend. Now we know that she wants to go and play one ring toss game and she wants to purchase additional tickets to go also go on the roller coaster. So she wants to do the ring toss once and ride the roller coaster once. So she needs two plus eight, she needs 10 additional tickets and she has six. So we do 10 tickets that she needs, subtract the six that she has, and she needs to purchase four additional tickets. Now let's go back up to the problem. The student spent $2.60 on the additional tickets that she needed. So we know that $2.60 divided by four will tell us the cost of each additional ticket. So let's set up our division, $2.60 divided by four. We bring up our decimal point. So four does not go into two, so we put a zero and bring your decimal point straight up. Four goes into 26 evenly six times. Six times four is 24. 26 subtract 24 is two. Bring down our zero. Four goes into 20 five times evenly because five times four is 20 and we have nothing left over. So we can conclude that she spent 65 cents per ticket.